Hello, good evening. I'm Dr. Rohan Krishnan, uh, and, and we are here at Health Perspective of Medical Dialogues. Today, we are going to discuss about the issue where the Honorable Health Minister of Haryana has said that he wants to start uh, uh, Ayurvedic courses at MBBS level at various institutes where, which are teaching medical MBBS at Haryana. There, Ayurveda should also be taught. Obviously, Indian Medical Association and various other medical professional bodies has not taken this statement very well. Uh, today, I have the I have the opportunity to speak with the with the honourable uh, minister himself, and he said he seems to be pretty positive about it. And uh, he was advocating this integrated method of medicine and the ancient medicine, and uh, he he was advocating it to to a lot of extent. To discuss this topic, I have. Uh, an esteemed panel of guests with Dr. Rajesh Kataria, who is the president of the Indian Medical Association, Haryana State Branch, Dr. Rajan Sharma, who is the pres national, former national president of the Indian Medical Association and who also belong from Haryana, and Dr. Watts, who is the, D the former director general health services uh, of, uh, uh, of Haryana State. Firstly, I would like to come to Dr. Rajesh Kataria, sir. Uh, sir, uh, the the health minister seems pretty adamant, and he is positive that it is a good step. Why is the Indian Medical Association and other uh, doctors' body opposing this? Sir, we do. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Dr. Rajesh Kataria. I am the officiating president, IM Haryana. About this, the, we doctors always criticize the proposal of to integrate all system of medicine such as Ayush and the modern, me modern medicine, which is termed as mixopathy. And this mixopathy is an illegal and unethical practice of different medicine system by an unqualified practice. And against this, for this, Malik, this process is going on since years 2020. And we all people, all doctors, Malik, all our at the national level, we are against that. Malaki, by uh, this union government decision to allow Ayurvedic practitioners to do surgeries and uh, 58 kind of surgeries they have already allowed, but we always oppose that. On number 22, uh, it is again we condemn that decision that describing it as this is a poaching the disciplines of modern medicines through backdoor means, and our senior says that, and also a retrograde step of mixing the system. And we, why don't we just pack up the we modern medicine and go to home? We did we bother studying for seven to eight years and for becoming consultant as a surgeon or medicine. We do 12 years of study and then we just do mixing with Ayurveda who just study for four to five years and they are just equivalent to doing everything. And Ayurveda, no doubt. We have all of us, this system are horrified at the ridiculous decision. Our Western doctors, Malik, for this mixopathy, our Western doctors also says that they have no beef with traditional medicines. On the contrary, many are proud of Indian heritage, but their point is that the two systems are different and mixing them is dangerous. Our Ayurveda, about Ayurveda, Malik, that has its own clinical parameters, methods and historical tradition and we are proud of that. Ancient learning and happy if Malay Ayurveda flourishes and India has our India has 4 lakhs 50 thousand approximately Ayurvedic practitioner for uh, they their graduation takes just over five years and although the consideration includes some modern medicines degree holders have not been allowed to prescribe the modern medicines we don't know whether why our health ministers Malaki just insisting ki there should be a Ayurveda course Ayurveda has a different techniques modern medicine has a different techniques and one of the senior doctor, Dr. Sandeep Padan, who is a very consultant, Ayurvedic uh, consultant, who always says that there is a different technique in the Ayurveda and a different down to the instrument also for the surgical means. For all these things, Malaki, he says, for example, if there is any terrisium part in the eye, Malaki, they just treat that with the alkaline solutions or we just treat with the eye drops. And if that is very severe, we just go for the surgery. And second thing, if there is any anal fissure type uh, or anal, anal problem, they just treat the patient by the means of thread. That is uh, uh, protect with uh, herbs like medicines. 
and that helps in the healing of that and we just do they never do use scalpel but we use scalpel and with the surgical means for treatment of everything so ayurveda and modern medicines both have their different entity theek na kyunki national institute of ayurveda also on the website explain ki they have their own surgical technique and for their technical technique they say that that is shalya tantra shalya tantra that means surgery and shakalya that is the procedure where they treat the patient for the head and neck aapka ent such like of procedures while modern medicine have well equipped aapka operation theater and they just have gastroscopy colonoscopy with aapka siam just to provide gall bladder surgery and we have just anesthetic anesthesia matlab we have all the matlab ki well maintained uh, sterile environment under proper anesthesia to treat the patient so on december 22 2022 our union health minister again mansukh mandavia spoke against the uh, about the government decision to set up center in all medical college and government institution but uh, again there is the same problem they are going to try that so that will just harm the peoples that will affect the lives of the people and everything matlab ki integrative medicine policy is just an anti people moves that's my thinking whatever the senior says that's okay we just oppose this mixopathy uh dr rajan sharma had joined uh, he has uh, i think i is having some link problem he he, he dropped off um, till then i'd like to come to uh, okay uh, sir has joined again uh, am i am i audible to you sir dr rajan sir yeah you are audible sir uh sir uh, 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 honorable minister says that what is the problem uh, if uh, if this is going to happen that uh, the, they are not telling that ayurvedic uh, ayurvedic people should do modern medicine or allopathic practice it is just uh, that the mbbs student should also learn about this so uh, what uh, what is the problem in that saal ke kai bar lagbhag har group mein transfer ho jate hain jis ki wajah se hi aa jata hai तोड़ते ही अपने को ना ऑप्शन लगाना चाहिए अगर राजन सर यू आर यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल ओके आई थिंक देर इज सम नेटवर्क ऑफ डॉक्टर राजन शर्मा शर विल कम बैक टू हिम वेरी शॉर्टली आई हैव विथ मी डॉक्टर पंकज वर्स हू इज द फॉर्मर डायरेक्टर जनरल डीजीएचएस ऑफ हरियाणा uh sir i would like to come to you for your comment that uh, what what do you think about this uh, this statement made by the honorable minister that uh, mbbs student should be taught ayurveda in the medical colleges of haryana uh, there are two parts of it one part is that whether nmc will allow it or not what is going to happen that that is the se- second part of it the first important part of it is that what is your view as, as the former dghs that is is this a step uh acceptable because i feel uh, that the doctor community is opposing this step uh, very very uh, hardly actually you're right uh, it is a very old concept uh, like uh, in uh, when i did my md from all india medical institute in 1983 86 so one of the professor um, he did try this all these things i professor and hod of the pharmacology he tried to uh, uh, learn uh, about these ayurvedic medicines and other things and their benefits and get such implementation but nothing came uh, which we can say which can be quoted here so what exactly is happening see uh, they have to understand that the iq of the person who is dealing with the uh, health of human being most complicated uh, system in the world so the intellectual level and its understanding is of utmost care it should not be politicized it should not be symbolized of course we we are indians of course we have Uh, some some information some knowledge about uh, uh, see uh, ayurveda 
but we should not try to get it uh, you see throw over the allopathy these are two entirely different system and what exactly is happening this will be very very dangerous for both the systems both allopathy and ayurveda both it will be dangerous because kawa chala hans ki chal apne bhi kho baitha so if they if you teach allopathy to the ayurveda people they will never make research in on the, in their own field and similarly if you introduce uh, ayurveda in the ambiguous syllabus and all that then they will they will also not be getting where they should go they should understand that uh, when we did our mbbs then there was only post graduation we have not heard more than that but now what we are listening we are listening mch urology nephrology dm cardiology and so many things and more for the more specialization so if you limit us allopathic doctor by ayurveda concepts and ayurveda things fir ye jo allopathy ki udan hai wo ruk jayegi isliye i am of the opinion that these things are two entirely different things they should get progress they should give uh, ample opportunities I, i i am of the i am also of the opinion that ayurveda must be given enough funds they should be also given enough care lot of research should happen there but these two things should be entirely kept different because they are like ganga and jamuna they are different destination is different output is different so joining both of them will be the disaster okay I, i would like to come again to dr rajan sharma sir uh, sir what what is your stand in this what, what what is is it a good step is uh, because the minister says that what is the problem we are not telling the ayurvedic people to practice modern medicine we are just uh, we just want the students to get accustomed with the uh, with the ancient system of medicine which has proven its worth uh, a lot of time <laughs> see the problem is you all are medical students and uh, when me and other seniors of my age and seniors to me have must have passed there is a huge difference in curricula which is avail- uh, available for the students now and introducing them to ayurveda is a backward and a regressive step and the biggest harm will be caused to ayurveda itself it will lose its entity hello hello i think that there is some problem with the uh, with the network with dr rajin sharma sir i would like to come to dr karan juneja who is the chairman of the ima jd and haryana wing uh that uh, uh, being a uh, being a uh, being in the early phase of medical students and uh, learning uh, learning phase of the medicine what what is the harm if uh, if uh, you are being uh, told to attend uh, uh, a few lectures about ayurveda or or, or uh, uh, ancient medicine what is the harm in that please unmute yourself ah uh, thank you so much rohan sir it was a pleasure listening to all the eminent panelists and sir the uh, more than harm sir what i'll say it's a waste of time for our allopathy mbbs students sir they already have so many elective subjects sir 19 subjects there will they will lose the focus on those 19 subjects sir many a times when we see that when a student graduates from medicine and he comes to emergency he is not having th- that much acumen of medico legal studies like dr pankaj sir is there sir he is not having a orthopedician sir many a times a newly graduated mbbs has to excel in the skills of orthopedics he is completely focused on medicine surgery gynae and pediatrics main subjects of the final prof and all the other years which he has been studying the elective subjects are not given that much focus sir there is no, uh, sir more than harm sir he will not be able to study for his psychiatry nowadays we are seeing sir there is so much 
mental health uh, crisis in this country rather than asking the student to come study another pathy he must be a- asked to excel in his own pathy sir in the modern medicine there are various domains sir so that he is trained for super specialization nowadays there is a time of not even of uh, even after specialization sir doctors are pursuing super specialization the global trend if we see sir we must try to uh, give good healthcare to our citizens and if it is needed sir basic knowledge of uh, ayurveda or uh, yoga or unani or any path every doctor knows it sir before he even enters mbbs from our childhood sir we know that what is the use of tulsi in uh, in uh, having it with our tea whenever we have cold or cough or we know that if there is a chronic disease allopathy doctor himself many a time recommends uh, the patient to uh, a, a bms doctor or ayurveda doctor if the patient it should be patient's decision it should not be enforced sir what i feel that if it is enforced our doctors our mbbs oh. student knows basic uh, knowledge sir we must try to excel him in elective subjects sir dermatology orthopedics sir medical legal studies which he will be facing once he goes in emergency we must train him in basic emergency if something happens sir and i think orthopedics sir dermatology there are so many elective subjects which are which lose the focus sir and which when the student comes in the uh, during his internship in the emergency he is completely blank we are not giving him a direction but rather we are giving him so many uh, uh, so many knowledge sir and jiska kaam as we say jiska kaam usi ko saaje aur kare to danda baje sir to definitely jo doctor wo pad kar niklenge kal ko emergency mein un par danda bajega wo na hi hum jaise logon ke liye acha hoga sir jo naye naye junior doctors hain there is already so many episodes of violence this will increase not only violence on our healthcare professionals it will deteriorate the healthcare of our public sir we are not doing it for uh, opposing it or uh, trying to amend it for ourselves but for the public at large sir because we want good healthcare for them sir this is what both we had taken during our hypocrites so then hopefully we'll be able to save the public healthcare sir thank you so much okay okay i'd like to come to dr rajan sharma sir sir you were saying something it got disconnected uh rohan i know you i know karan is there and um, i cannot read the font is too low which is dr rajesh dr rajesh kataria dr rajesh kataria is the acting president of uh, im haryana state branch acha <laughs> hello sir sir bhul gaye aap <laughs> sir picture hi nahi dikh rahi sugar karo choti <laughs> choti टाइम से भी छोटी तो पिक्चर आ रही है हमें जूम की आदत पड़ी हुई है हाँ जी सर हाँ जी सर सी बेसिकली टू थिंक साइंटिफिकली यू शुड हैव अ साइंटिफिक माइंड व्हाई टेक्स अस सो मेनी इयर्स टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर इफ इट इज सो सिंपल दैट द प्लानर्स कैन डू एनीथिंग सम मॉड्यूल्स एंड सम नोट दीज रेगुलेशन है मेड कीपिंग इन माइंड the curriculum and syllabus of mbbs if we see particularly i don't know why the state of haryana has become so proactive in setting up medical colleges for every every district but where are the teachers all the current medical colleges are without teachers okay we are proud of our past but yes our ancestors our grandparents leave us a house but when we see that our requirements are different we change accordingly had this science ayurveda science we are proud of our heritage yes we are two sides of the river which can never be merged otherwise ayurveda will lose its significance i am requesting the government to conduct a nationwide survey to see how many ayurvedic doctors who have passed out have directly come into practice without getting trained as house surgeons or uh, interns with reputed doctors and started their own practice and are practicing pure ayurveda and above all how many have put their children into ayurvedic medicine son or do- a medical student or a medical doctor of modern modern medicine the debate is endless now we all know on one side we are having 500 bedded medical colleges in every district 
now we don't have any staff for the existing ones a few interviews i was privy to myself another thing is yes uh, on this 20th so 26 january the honorable chief minister announced for our uh, town a 200 bed in medical college are we making a joke out of medical uh, medical education if you divide the branches and the subjects you won't even get so many beds and best thing is whenever you want to destroy a nation or a science is to start fiddling with the education and the medical health this is the worst thing which is happening today and i am sorry to say let's go into our past we read the rigveda we read all the ancient scriptures the only thing which is mentioned is abscess and the use of thread there was no mention of laparoscopic surgery there was no mention of urological surgery there was no mention of ct scan and ultrasounds now they have i believe started pg in these i was asking one person i said uh, how will you do a laparoscopic surgery he said your doctors come to our uh, colleges or hospitals we will learn from them and what about anesthesia which anesthesia what is post op care which ot to set up is it some kind of a joke somebody is playing i asked a leading ayurvedic uh, ayurvedic doctor claim so i said sir uh, where did you get your glasses from sir that uh, famous optimist optimist so anybody in the family has got a cataract surgery done yes he again named a renowned doctor so where is the basis and had it been so if cataract surgery and uh, iol has a basis in the past why was dhritarashtra blind and why did gandhari have to wear a band over her eyes if eyes would have been open uh, mahabharata would not have happened so these sort of things saying it is a like i was discussing with you rohan the day it was announced medical education is not a state subject how many ministers and chief ministers will decide what to educate us who are they on one side they are on one side they are killing our profession modern medicine by introducing bonds for our students if anybody of you karan must have read it in haryana the interview 269 students did not give their affidavit for joining why we have a 300 bedded hospital but only seven doctors where are the nurses where are the nurses you have to improve the system in toto have a comprehensive paradigm shift of healthcare getting okay we are make, making so many phc chc is making so many buildings where are the funds i bet them they won't even have funds for the generator fuel where are the doctors why is the doctors set is not satisfied there today maternal and child health is totally being handled by a private sector cesarean sections are done by doctors from the private sector pediatricians are there from the private sector on a part time basis so when you don't have doctors let alone the teachers what is the use the concept their concept of medical uh, treatment and advancement is opening up a medical college which i still feel to understand how does opening a medical college treat a patient a case in point is karnal during the recent doctors agitation uh, i think both of you must have visited there patients get better care in the civil hospital rather than the medical college when the inspection comes i sometimes pity the medic, uh, private medical colleges they have to undergo so many turmoils for the inspection of nmc and here teachers are shifted from one medical college to the other on deputation and the affidavit is given that the government takes responsibility being 
a minister is in a position of responsibility such a comment is highly deplorable when you don't know anything about it and the worst part is when you have problems tell me post covid and during covid how many of our politicians have gone to ayurvedic doctors and taken treatment haryana was a nodal state to order coronil worth so many lakhs now where is it out it is a useless thing now for activist dr who filed a petition against baba ramdev and by the press trust of india he has been banned including uttarakhand pharmaceutical medical council to use any uh, words against the modern medicine and to advertise for those products they other if they realize it is again very bad they are playing with the health of the nation you see okay fine get them tested where are the true ayurvedic doctors which they claim they have been doing these surgeries after doing ms pms orthopedics i had to get my i had to take up senior residency to gain that confidence to start doing surgeries just getting ayurveda going 6 months and start operating does not behave they will play play with the lives of patients and when they themselves say in private people who are in the field they openly admit sir what we are using are your medicines modern medicine medicines we are not using this we, they 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 have no basis yes kada sab pite hain yaar kali mirch ka kada pi liya wo haldi kha li these are all natural remedies everybody has it tulsi as can every karan was saying these are small things but imagine treating yourself patient with on these basis kada this um, guloi kada was given during covid every place it was proven beyond doubt it is a useless concoction that time i was a president when uh, this we have treated so so many patients i said could you please rename how many patients sir primary stage we have treated 400 patients so which testing modality did you use rt pcr machine you want our crutches our legs and you want to stand and it is a myth being created that ayurveda has been neglected you go to any state all across the country there are ayurvedic medical colleges there are ayurvedic colleges there are ayurvedic centers i use centers way back i think it is around 20 years ago i was visiting hyderabad that time they had a homeopathy and a ayurvedic opd in their multi speciality hospital it is a patient's choice tomorrow that means why they are decreasing our number <coughs> that yes these are the only made up doctors which are available and what about the students who want to go abroad has anybody thought of the huge amount of foreign exchange being earned through medical tourism last but not the least we are leaders in healthcare management all across the globe ne take it uk usa australia the entire gulf region now new zealand also africa is it has started so do we want everybody back home that we are proud of our traditions if a doctor speaks i am very happy that he is speaking but unfortunately in this point of time whenever it is dealing with the government we somehow lose our voice and true private sector is still the best bet we have been taught in these medical colleges for so much time we couldn't uh, appreciate precautions cardiac sounds stetho was a big challenge <laughs> again and again again and again so in one day you will learn all these things 
I am an orthopedic surgeon. It is a challenge to read ECG, even now. I said physician can. But we have become such a such. A, this is a ground reality. Am I right or wrong? No, I completely agree. Anesthesia is this, to be given to a seventy-five. No, if anesthesia has to be given to a seventy-five plus, the first thing is call the anesthetist. Let him do a PSC and then see. Very so sometimes the anesthetist comes and says, "Doctor, this patient is going to go. Don't take the blame on yourself." But when you don't know anything, if you give the spinal also yourself, you operate upon yourself. God help this country because we are heading for a medieval era and a medicine. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, thank. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I think that uh, very briefly, sir, has covered entire topic uh, of today's uh, uh, panel. Because uh, whatever he has said, I'm I'm very much impressed because everything had had a very deep rooted meaning and a far sighted uh, uh, meaning. And it is not something which is uh, which is saying that is uh, uh, that is having any kind of prejudice or anything against any other uh, alternative medicine, but only and only facts. i think sir that you have already concluded this session i'm so thankful to you and i thank all the other panelists who have, who had joined today and i will again uh, the the health minister uh, is no more with uh, here on on the platform with us but i will again request him to reconsider this and involve uh, people from the medical field in uh, in doing uh, doing these kinds of things in making such statements and uh, we should have the Um, uh, people from the ministry uh, should uh, trust the people the, the the opinions of senior doctors and uh, people who are doing something great for the society thank you so much sir dr rajan sharma sir uh, dr pankaj uh, vat sir and uh, dr rajesh katariya sir for joining today and dr karan juneja thank you so much for joining today never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon